And I'm not opposed to doing that. And it's just an awful lot of work. <laughs> Yeah, you know enough amateur operators down there in the area. Uh, get a few of them over there to do the digging for you and get a few of them to help you put that thing in the ground. <laughs> yeah, well, we know a few. Uh, however, I'm not sure how many of them are that close a friend. <laughs> But uh, we will see. My uh, my good friend uh, Mark, and uh, he has one of these towers. Is what isn't that long, but or that tall. But he passed away, and uh, I. He knew more hams than I know. I'll put it that way. And, uh, but we will see. No, Roger, that I know, uh, when I was running two meters, it, was, it wasn't too bad because you had a lot of people around close that you could get a hold of. Yeah, a lot of times they'd get on there and announce that there was going to be an antenna party or something. And you'd be surprised how many people would show up, but that was back in the day, you know. Nowadays, I don't know what would happen. Yeah, uh, I have uh, been involved with uh, similar antenna parties, and uh, I don't know what would happen if if you have an antenna party like that. Uh, to be honest, if I got the hole in the ground and the concrete and all, uh, the rest of it comes fairly easily. But, uh, ugh. <laughs> there's, uh, there's a, that point where you have to think about it. And, uh, anyway, we're working on that. <laughs> I'll put it that way. No, oh, right, yeah. You need to is find yourself a, a young ham there that's, uh, just getting into HF and stuff and talk him into getting one of his friends and coming down there and digging that hole and trading him an amp to do the job. Well, I could do that. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, oh well, we will see uh, what transpires between now and and what happens next, I'll put it that way. No, Roger, yeah. you'd be surprised though how many of these new hams out there that just getting their ticket and stuff and getting on HF, which they'd probably go, uh, you'd probably have a line of them waiting to come in and dig that hole. Well, that's a thought. And, uh, yeah. I may do that. <laughs> we will see. All oh, right, Jeanette. Well, we had a pretty nice day out here today, John. We had a high of about 67. Uh, the sun was shining. I think we had uh, about a four mile an hour breeze out here. Nothing major. Uh, there's supposed to be snow this weekend, though. Somewhere here, beautiful weather. Oh, gorgeous. Of course, I was worn slap out from, uh, from entertaining my, uh, my granddaughter. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, 
And tomorrow, I think uh, it's going to get cloudy, but that's it. And I'm going to do some lawnmower work, change the oil, that sort of thing. And I'll probably get through with that. And uh, I hope I'll get through with it anyway. And uh, put the, uh, the mower back in the garage. Then, uh, then we'll start on hauling a bunch of limbs down. Uh, see, my burn pile is away from the road, and uh, <laughs> uh, it, it's a long way from the road, so I really do need that, the lawnmower, the lawn tractor, to just kind of haul that stuff down there, but uh, we may have to work out some other deal. No, Roger, that you haven't got that uh, carburetor rebuilt yet, huh? Actually, the carburetor is rebuilt, and it is on there. Uh, I need to change the oil and the filter, and then have someone who knows the carburetor and how to adjust it to adjust it. No, oh, Roger, that that could be that could be fun. You gotta unless you know a local neighborhood uh, mechanic around here that might be able to come down and do it for you. Well, uh, well I've got someone in mind who uh, who can do it and uh, so we go from there you know I'll ride your dad well it sounds like you you get it all figured out there and get it come together there for you yeah I gotta do an oil change on this one I got but I gotta go down to John Deere because this one it's got a a filter like thing and you just take it off and you put the new one on and that's your oil filter and your oil. It's all in one one job. You just stick it on and twist it on and it's, they call it a 30 second oil change. Yeah, I, I've seen that. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> went in and, uh, to Home Depot and saw that, but uh, what I want to know it, 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 is that uh, does it fit my mower? Because that was unavailable uh, last time I had I changed the oil, and if it is 